Kia ora, Fana. Kia ora. How's everyone doing today? Great. Wonderful. So my name is Nathan Doctor, and a lot of my work in this world stems from a unique insight I have around the world's resource utilization. So of all the things that we waste in, across a global scale, I think the one that we miss the most is not water, not food, not even fossil fuels, but rather human potential. And there's a big reason for that. It comes to a structural issue with education. Three main points that I'll go through. First, access to education is a huge concern. Only 7% of the global population has had tertiary education. Higher education is just not scalable, not accessible to the majority of the population. Even in New Zealand, a developed nation, that stat only jumps to 15%. Conversely, though, over 55% of the world's population has constant access to the internet. And that's just past the 50% mark this past year, which is pretty amazing. Second thing, our modern education system is actually based off of the Prussian education model, which was built to develop factory workers. It trained docile, obedient laborers, but it didn't create change makers. It's the biggest byproduct of industrialization that we have. Uh, and that's something that really needs to change. Second, there's a huge disconnect between academics and the workforce. Oftentimes, people think a degree means a good job, but it doesn't. There is not always a, a connect there between workforce relevance or on the job skill sets. We aim to change that. So we decided to design a new system, one that was skills-based instead of curriculum-focused, one that was immersive with hands-on learning. It wasn't given in a lecture format where you're disengaged from the content you're picking up. One that was self-directed, where students learn to follow their own intuition and their own excitement, not that of their, their teacher. And also one that was scalable based on an internet format. Another piece of that is also community driven so that the content that's followed isn't from a curriculum, but rather contributed in real time by ep experts in the field. So it's adaptive with the pace of technology we have today. Then also gamified engaging and focused, what we decided to focus on, which the easiest way to deliver this was on technology skills that are so important in today's world. So with that, we started Code Wars, which is a free educational community where software developers train their skills through code challenges. And how does that work? It's, Essentially, a code challenge is a discrete programming problem that can niche across the entire realm of programming, so different languages, different concepts, different degrees of difficulty. All of that content is contributed by a community, not by ourselves, vetted, structured, and then come up with based on a scale of difficulty and where it fits into the spectrum, so that people training, whether they be new entrants to the workforce, college students, high school students, or 20 plus year developers that are retraining and upstraining into new skills, can actually go through that and find the content that's most relevant to them. We now have over a million engineers across 192 countries using this. And as Martin here says, it's even better than college. It's also slightly addicting, as Ralph showed, so a little dangerous he forgot to eat dinner. <laughs> With that, we're also helping to educate the next generation of cryptocurrency engineers. As an early adopter in cryptocurrency and investor, we've started to add Ethereum languages, Solidity and Viper, programming languages on the cryptocurrency, into our platform to train developers into this new ecosystem so we can move towards financial freedom that way. And I also started an investment fund called Synapse Capital to invest across and support that ecosystem as well. From there, though, we decided, how do we bring this model to the workforce? How do we bridge that disconnect? And that was what we created with Qualified. It's a highly effective platform for assessing and training engineering skills. And with that, we found a pain so that we could bring it to companies and ensure that corporates would be on board. That pain, we found, was the hidden cost of hiring. It's cost around $23,000 per hire to actually evaluate engineers to bring onto a team, and over half a million dollars for a mishire, which is extremely expensive. With Qualified, we can cut that down by 68% by helping companies hire, find and identify great hires. With that, we're now trusted by over 350 great clients, from high-tech companies like Apple to resource-based companies like Glencore. The real goal there, though, is moving the workforce hiring system to a merit-based approach, connecting it back to education, and really focusing on objective standards so that we're hiring based on skills and not pedigree. We don't want people coming in that are only being hired because they went to a great school, but rather that they're selecting the people that are the best for the job. And we do this through testing real skills, new objective standards, and focusing on what performance on the job really looks like. And to that effect, my co-founder on both of these businesses is actually not college educated and was a completely self-taught programmer, which just shows to show you how that paradigm of what educated means and how it needs to change. 
off of that, Qualified is also used by educational institutes. So universities, high schools, coding boot camps, and even in corporate training programs, where they're replacing evaluation in class with our platform and the ways we assess. So it's far more immersive, real world instruction, allows them to be more adaptive to changing technologies, and really replaces the paradigm of homework, tests, and quizzes. So with that said, thank you for the time, and I want to say that this is only the start. It's time for us to realize the full potential of the 7.6 billion of us.